In this video, Timmy's going to show you how to copy and paste on a Chromebook. And there are actually two different ways that you can do this. So in this video, Timmy's going to show you both of them. The first and probably most common way to copy something on a Chromebook is to right click on whatever you want to copy. So if you wanted to copy this paragraph of text here, you would just need to highlight it by moving your mouse to the end of it and clicking and holding down with one finger and then use a different finger, probably easiest if you use the finger from your other hand and just slide across to start highlighting and you can move up if you want to highlight several lines and just move across until you've highlighted everything and now you can let go of both fingers and now this paragraph is highlighted and now to copy this paragraph You'll need to put your cursor on top of the highlighted text. So here's Timmy's cursor, and Timmy will just put it down here. And now, with two fingers, click two fingers down on the trackpad at the same time, like that. And now, this menu has appeared here, with a few different options. And because we want to copy this text, you'll obviously just need to click on Copy. And now the text is copied. So that's how you can copy the text using this method with a trackpad. But if you have a real mouse that you're using with your Chromebook, it can actually be a bit easier. You just, you, with your mouse, just click and hold and then drag like that to highlight everything. And then just click with the right click button to bring up the right click menu and click copy. And now the text is copied, so now you can go and paste it somewhere. So you can really paste it anywhere that you would be typing text, but if you want to paste it into an email in Gmail, you would just come in here. And now you'll see Timmy's got Timmy's cursor here, so you'll just need to move your mouse to where your cursor is, like that. And now right click again on your cursor, or right next to your cursor. So right clicking again is just two fingers and click them down at the same time on the trackpad. And now it will bring up this menu. And this menu has a lot more options than before because we're typing an email in Gmail. But as you can see, paste is down here. So you'll just need to click paste. And now that paragraph that we copied back on the Tech Time with Timmy website is now pasted in here. Or, once again, if you're using a real mouse with your Chromebook, you'll just need to right click on the cursor by right click clicking on the right click button, and then you can click paste like that with your mouse. But something you might notice when you copy and paste text off a website is this text all looks like it's from the website, it's not the usual font of Gmail or your Google Doc or wherever you might be pasting it. So if that happens, to me just add some space down here, there is a different thing you can do. So if you move your cursor back over the cursor again and right click with your two fingers, in this menu here, if you click paste as plain text, now the text will look like your text normally would in Gmail or wherever you're pasting it. So the text won't be the same font and color as the website. It will be the same font and color and size and everything like that as the rest of the text in the location you're pasting it. So that's pretty much all there is to it. But one other thing to me does want to show you about this method is if you were to paste into a Google Doc like this, it's the same process really, you just right click on your cursor, and that's the case with pasting anywhere really. But you'll see this menu that comes up when we right click does look a bit different than if you're pasting in Gmail or most other places, so that's just something to be aware of. And you see we've got paste down here, and this option actually is called paste without formatting here, but that will do the same as placed as plain text. But to me, we'll just click regular paste. And now this text is pasted here. So that's all there is to that method. But 
Timmy's favourite method to copy and paste on a Chromebook is by using keyboard shortcuts. So, if you wanted to copy this paragraph of text with a keyboard shortcut, you would need to highlight it again, just like before. So you move your mouse to the end of it, and you click down on the trackpad with one finger, and you use a finger probably from a different hand to scroll while you're holding down with the other finger, and you just move across like that to highlight, and you can move up to go up a line, and just keep going across until you've highlighted everything you want to copy, and now you can let go. And now that the text is highlighted, you'll need to press a keyboard shortcut on your keyboard. So on your keyboard, you'll need to hold down the control key, which is in the bottom corner here. So hold that down, and then while you're still holding it down, Press the C key here, just the letter C, so just press that, and now you can let go of both of them, and now the text will be copied. So now you can go to a email in Gmail or a Google Doc or anywhere like that, and now if you hold down Control and press the V key, it will paste it. Or if you wanted to paste it as plain text, so that the text will not look like the website you just copied it from. The text will look like it belongs in this email or document or wherever you're pasting it. You just need to hold down Control and hold down Shift and press V. And now the text is pasted as plain text and it will look like it belongs in the email. And you can use these keyboard shortcuts to copy and paste text pretty much anywhere, just like this. And just to remember, it's Control and C to copy, Control and V to paste, and Control and Shift and V to paste as plain text. And that's all there is to copy and pasting using a keyboard shortcut. But regardless of which copy and paste method you use, it actually doesn't have to just be text that you copy and paste. You can copy a whole lot of things. So, for example, if you wanted to copy this image here, you can't really use keyboard shortcuts to copy an image, but you can right click on an image to copy it. So if you get your two fingers and click them both down on the trackpad while your mouse is hovering over an image, you'll see here you get this different looking menu, and there's a copy image option, so you can just click that, and now you can paste it somewhere. You should always be a bit careful about copying images from websites, because there can often be rules about what you're allowed to do with other people's images, but if you have the website owner's permission, or you're just copying it from a Google Doc or something like that, you should probably be okay. And now you can go and paste your image somewhere. But you can't actually paste it absolutely anywhere, because obviously if you tried to paste it into a search box or something, you can't have an image inside a search box, so it just wouldn't work. But as long as you're pasting an image anywhere that an image could go, so maybe a Gmail email or a Google Doc or something like that, you can paste it just like pasting text. So if we go back to our Google Doc here, and we go down a few lines, now if you either right click on your cursor and click paste, or press the keyboard shortcut Control V, you will be able to paste the image. And it's gone down to the next line because it's a bit too big, but as you can see, we now have our image here. And you can also copy and paste files in the Files app, to create multiple copies of that file in different folders. So, if you wanted to copy this Winter Barn picture, you could either right click on it, so get your two fingers and click them both down on the trackpad, and now this menu will appear, and it looks a bit different to all the other menus we've seen today, but it does still have the copy option, so you can just click copy, or if you didn't want to right click on it, you could just single click on it with one finger clicking down one time, so it's highlighted, and then use the Control C keyboard shortcut to copy it like that. 
And now you can just go and paste it somewhere. So if you wanted to have a copy of this image in your downloads folder, you could just double click on your downloads folder to go in here. And now just right click on the empty space and click on paste in this menu. And now the file is here. Or if you wanted to use a keyboard shortcut, you could just go into this folder, press on control V and that would work as well. And now, as you can see, because we've pasted this file twice, we have two of this file in the downloads folder. And if we go back to my files, which is where the original was, you'll see the original is still here. So now we have three different copies of the same file in different locations. And that's all there is to copy and pasting on a Chromebook. But if you want to see how to take a screenshot on a Chromebook, you'll learn how to do that in this video right here.